Welcome back to the Marvel Live Lounge. Justin Warner here, and I am joined by none other than Brian Crosby, Marvel's creative director, director of live events. What's up? How's it going, man? Uh, I'm having a blast, especially now that you're here. It's, um, <laughs> it's an honor to be next to such like a big creative brain. I'll let you know when he gets here. Okay, got yeah. it, got it. Yeah. Uh, firstly, how's your con? How are you feeling? Uh, it's just good to be back more than anything. You know, uh, this is oddly familiar yet unusual at the same time, uh, but it, it's, it's great to be back. I, I, I've missed it. Um, one of my responsibilities at Marvel is to uh, oversee our presence, you know, our, our booth and uh, things like that, help arrange the live stream and whatnot. Uh, and it's, it's great. It's great to have, be back with the fans and interacting like, like we were never gone. Right. Well, talk to me about live events. What, what goes into it when you're, you know, tasked with something? What's the creative process like? Sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's, it's always been a little bit of a little bit of a flip for how we normally do things at Marvel. Right. We typically are uh, either um, reading comics or watching movies or animation or video games or whatever it is. And in the case of a live event, you have to narratively flip the paradigm so that the fan or the guest or whatever becomes the protagonist. Mm. So you are, the, all the experiences are happening to you, right? You're the one fighting the bad guy or whatever. So in the case of an event like this, we have to think about experientially what are people doing? How are they consuming the space? What do they hear? What do they touch? Uh, all of those things. So um, my background as a designer was in uh, designing theme park experiences. So I bring that same mentality of uh, experiential storytelling to what I do in live events. I love that. And, uh, you know, I think the thing that, that lingers is the things that you remember. Uh, for example, uh, this gore your, tattoo that we both have. But yours looks so have. much cooler than mine. I fell asleep <laughs> with it on. Uh, so it, it might not be as semi-permanent as we thought. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, uh, talk to me about Spider-Man 60th, because you, you've done a lot of work around that. Yeah, oh my gosh. Well, we, we've been working on this for quite a while. We did a, a virtual event uh, a few months ago um, to kind of kick it off. Uh, there's a robust consumer products campaign. But in, in my space, uh, we wanted to figure out well, how do we celebrate Spider-Man 60th in a dimensional way, let people experience it. And we had been doing a, um, uh, a, a museum exhibit called Marvel Universe Superheroes with uh, several exhibitions. And we, we had so much fun doing that. We did it just after the 80th anniversary of Marvel that we wanted to do a deep dive into one character, uh, really dig in and learn all we could about one character. And quickly, Spider-Man rises to the top uh, as a character that, that people want to learn more about and really immerse themselves in. And so uh, what better time than 2022? We're coming back to San Diego. There happens to be a Comic-Con museum just up the road. Uh, and it's the 60th anniversary of Spider-Man, so let's go ahead and do it. So we, we partnered up with Semel Exhibitions again, um, and we have created an uh, immersive exhibit that has original artwork, uh, vintage comics, uh, props and costumes from the films, you know, real narrative storytelling uh, in that space where you can just kind of soak it all in and learn about where Spider-Man Peter Parker came from, where he is today, and then also where he's going in the future with the, uh, him as a character, but also the larger Spider-Verse. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, now, just like for 60 years, it's an incredible time to be a Spider-Man fan. It is, yeah. Uh, so speaking of fans, uh, how do fans uh, get access to this? So the, the Comic-Con Museum is there, you know, 365 days a year. I think that's, you know, what Comic-Con International likes to say is Comic-Con just doesn't have to be this, you know, four or five days here in San Diego, but you can go to Balboa Park in San Diego anytime and kind of immerse yourself in pop culture. Uh, but the Spider-Man exhibit will be there through the end of the year. Um, and, yeah, go check it out. I love that. Um, so till the end of the year, we have time to check this out, and yeah. you don't have to go to Comic-Con specifically no. to get some of that Comic-Con flavor and vibe. That's right, yeah. It's called uh, Marvel's uh, Spider-Man Beyond Amazing, the exhibition. And, yeah, it's going to be there uh, all year long. So go check it out. And you don't need a badge or anything. Um, just go in. And, and, and there's a few other great exhibits, too. But let's be honest. The Spider-Man one's the, the one people should really go check out. If I don't say so myself. <laughs> I love that. Uh, what are you most excited about uh, here at San Diego Comic-Con 2022? Uh, more, I mean, I, I think we've got some really unique things happening in the booth. We've got uh, a partnership that we've done with Inkbox uh, that where we're doing semi-permanent tattoos, as you showed yeah. uh, earlier. We have a, a partner called Whatnot that has some uh, vintage collectibles on display uh, that we may or may not be doing something with. Uh, we have VV, our uh, digital collectibles partner. 
uh, Gunner showcasing their uh, blue light gamer glasses. Um, there's just so much happening. And, of course, always we've got cosplay events, signing. So for me, the real fun is doing all that stuff, letting the fans be a part of it, and then getting to re-engage with the fans again in person. Uh, even some of my coworkers and friends I haven't seen in two years, yeah. that's what I'm looking forward to the most. I love it. I love it. Uh, Brian Crosby, thank you so much for being here, and thanks for uh, shedding just a little insight in what goes on in that big brain. Absolutely. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. You bet. Well, if you all need to uh, get a hold of us, make sure you use that hashtag uh, MarvelSDCC, or check us out at uh, marvel.com slash SDCC. we got a lot more in store, and I'm super pumped about it with.